spring is a beautiful season, but the transition to spring is something else. And don't let me get started about all that beautiful yellow pollen. But nevertheless, we're going to have a good time today because I am going to be decorating my kitchen for spring. Now we have a lot of areas to cover, so let's get started. with my stove top because we had finished dinner and I had cleaned up everything so I just decided to go ahead and add some spring accents to this stove. I'm starting with this marble tray that has the little gold feet and this was a recent purchase from TJ Maxx. I'm trying to keep this area both functional and decorative at the same time so I'm adding these white hobnail bowls that we use on a daily basis and at the end of the video you will see that I will reduce this back to just three bowls. I'm also going to add this little miniature cutting board and I'm also going to add these adorable salt and pepper shakers. I think they're just perfect for the spring and Easter season. Just a small nod to the holiday. I'm also going to add my oil dispenser because I want to make this tray functional and olive oil is something that I use pretty much every day and I want it to be accessible so it's easy to reach. All the items that I'm adding to this tray are things that I already had on hand so there are no new purchases. To the top of my stove, I'm going to add this cutting board and I'm also going to add this floral. Now this floral is called the Lily of the Valley. This flower has been associated with motherhood, sweetness, purity, and humility. Christian lore, Lily of the Valley came to be from Eve's tears after she was expelled from the Garden of Eden. It has also been said that the Lily of the Valley sprouted from the tears of Mary at the sight of Christ's crucifixion. I decided to add this bunny cutting board to add more textural and visual interest to support the back of the floral. And I'm also adding my little festive towel here. I'm going to add this printed one in the pink and blue and the brown bunnies. And I'm going to add a simple white towel to complete this look. To the next part of my kitchen, I'm going to be decorating this refrigerator top by creating a spring vignette. And if you've never tried this, it's a great way to elevate the look of your kitchen area. Plan B, I had to go back and reuse the gold tray that I used during Valentine's. I found this beautiful pink orchid from my local Burlington store this year. Found this adorable bunny at my Burlington store this year as well. To complete this vignette, I'm adding this simple wreath, the same wreath that I used on Valentine's Day. I'm just going to add it to this wall, and this completes this vignette. So to the next section of my kitchen, I'm going to switch out these valences and put these simple white ones in its place. Up next, I'm going to add this adorable sign. I used this sign last year, so I'm going to use it again. You notice my mini wardrobe changes is because I was going in and out of the house to the barn and it was raining outside. And I just kept the coat on and just continued decorating. So let's decorate my baker's corner. I'm pretty much set up. I have that Easter wreath. So now I'm going to add in this pale pink hobnob utensil holder. I'm also going to add in these spatulas that I found at my local Hobby Lobby this year. You say you don't want to get in trouble, but you don't find because you got me. I don't want to break 
like a little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see in your eyes, your head is full of dreams. Tears are a proof of failure. You just gotta let. So for the final section of my kitchen, we're going to decorate my kitchen island. You will have to come back to my spring home tour to see a full tour of the kitchen and the other areas that I didn't decorate during this video. Added in the marble tray and I am using the same floral that I use during Valentine's Day. I'm also reusing this white jar and I'm also going to add a beautiful sage green bird to this vignette and this is a new purchase from my local Big Lot store this year. So this is going to complete this vignette and so now let's take a closer look at all we've done today. you enjoyed this video today and it gave you all the spring and Easter feels for the new season and until the next video happy decorating